an answer of love to the call of love. I think that's a beautiful description of a religious vocation. 50, 60, 70, 75, and 80 years, her jubilarians heard a call of love. And they answered in love with the gift of their lives. What a wonderful exchange. Love given, love received, love returned. How happy I am to be able to be with you this evening. Let me begin by expressing my profound gratitude to you for your acceptance and your faithfulness to the Lord's invitation to follow him in consecrated life. By your profession of the evangelical councils, the characteristic features of Jesus, the chaste, the poor, the obedient one, are made constantly visible in the midst of our world. And the eyes of the faithful are directed toward the mystery of God, already a work in history, even as it waits its full realization in heaven. We give thanks to the Lord for the gift of consecrated life, a gift to the church, and through you, a gift to our diocese. You're celebrating your jubilees during the year of consecrated life. In his apostolic letter announcing this year, Pope Francis set forth the aims. Look to the past with gratitude. Live the present with passion and embrace the future with hope. Each of you can look to the past with gratitude. Remembering when you first heard the Lord's call of love, his faithfulness through the years, the challenges and difficulties that required hope and courage to endure, the people with whom you have lived and worked, and the joy of being a disciple. With God's grace, you live the present with passion. An answer of love to the call of love. That's what we're celebrating this evening. How fitting that we gather at the Eucharist. Here we encounter Jesus who in love embraced his Father's will. Here you find the nourishment to continue to answer in love. The call of love echoed years ago and repeated each day. May you continue to hear his voice and answer him with an undivided heart. And may the Virgin Mary, who listened attentively and pondered the divine word, be your model as you follow her son in love of God and service of neighbor.